what's going on welcome back to the news let's get right into it okay first up we have two brand new miltonius null gap sets first one is mech fiend uh this will be in the rare shop this friday or tomorrow if you're watching a video on the day it's uploaded and a i don't it's called the ralzik armor set i don't know if that's the finished name of it or whatever is happening here but that's another commission and looks pretty sick so we have a better picture of that later on in the video and the mech fiend one is really cool with the sword and all that stuff also all right on the Zynos post it says uh a few things that will be included with uh, nogas birthday the akumi sword and battle pet and more so and the staff right here which is really cool uh the pet will probably be a thing right there uh, a bunch of stuff uh, we're getting more information on polish in the quest line and that is about it i have a little bit more info on that all right so they've been pulling a lot of the commissions that multonis has done and then putting them into adventure quest worlds of course uh so we have this one that ashes has done i got these all from uh miltonius arts instagram so you can check that out if you want to check out his instagram uh we have the one that ashes did a uh, commission uh we got this one which i'm not too sure uh where that came from but it was on his uh, pay, uh, on his Instagram from his Patreon and stuff like that. Uh, this one, which of course was on his Instagram, which is now going to be in game confirmed. Uh, although that wasn't confirmed yesterday. I've been working on this for a while. Uh, we got this one right here, uh, which I don't know if this was ever in game. It kind of looks like something we've seen in game before, but I'm not 100% if that's been in game or not. And of course, we could have Akumi's bounty hunter armor with the helmet, with the scarf and all that. Hopefully not the face. Not a big fan of the faces, but... Uh, the armor would be pretty sick so we can have we can see stuff like this in the future uh it does say and more so we could see more of the null gas sets that he's made in the game for his birthday which would be pretty cool if you were not aware krulong's birthday shop his birthday rare shop is coming out tomorrow uh it was i think it was supposed to come out last week uh, maybe he didn't have enough time to finish up all the art he wanted to finish or i don't know what happened with that but it will be coming out tomorrow along with Nolgas's birthday event, which is, uh, I guess, they're both coming out at the same time. It's a lot of items, uh, which I'm happy about. Uh, so, yeah, you can see a set here. Really cool cape, really cool armor. And we'll be seeing that hopefully tomorrow. All right, let me lighten it off a few of these little new things. Uh, Alina asks, what gaming console you use the most? Xbox, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, or I don't own a console, which is 47% of the people that entered this poll. I said I don't own a console. I own old consoles like uh, the GameCube, the original Wii, the PS3, the Xbox 360. I don't own any current consoles, uh, PS4, Xbox One. I don't own any of those. I kind of want to switch, and I'm glad that 9% of the people on this poll voted. It's a pretty high percentage for a console that just came out. Uh, I think the Switch is the best console out right now. Uh, and this may be hinting towards, and because Elena only does the Venture Quest World stuff, are they trying to put a Venture Quest Worlds on the console? I think AQ3D would be a better console game, uh, just because it's 3D and all that. I don't really... Well, I guess 2D games work on consoles, too. I don't know. We'd have to see. I don't know how the gameplay in AQW would work on a controller, but... Eh, it's possible. It would definitely work on the Nintendo Switch, because Nintendo Switch, I'm pretty sure has a touch screen. Not 100% if it has a touch screen, but I'm pretty sure Nintendo Switch has a touch screen, and that would work really well, uh, along with tablets and other stuff. Uh, she also did another... Uh, pull on where you'd like to download AQW if it was a client that you had to download so you could get higher FPS so it, it could work with your drivers on your graphics card and stuff like that so you could actually get a high frame rate in it uh, which you would need to download it for that to work uh, because your browser cannot use any of your components to their full potential uh, because the drivers wouldn't work properly with that uh, so uh, download on Steam direct download and install and cancel program says 36 people don't want to download it on Steam, would prefer a direct install. Although if you're doing a direct install, it's probably better to just get it on Steam. Steam has a lot of features that are really good. Uh, Steam accounts are free to make. I don't know why people would want to direct download it over a Steam install, unless maybe their account's banned on, unless they're like IP banned from Steam, which I don't even know if you can get IP banned from Steam. Uh, but that would be the only reason I would see to not want it on Steam. Steam is a very good platform for downloading. And uh, I saw, I think, someone that was affiliated with AE. Yeah, bandwidth. So uh, Corin uh, said bandwidth was an issue, and that's why they would prefer to have it on Steam. So it would help out with their bandwidth costs and stuff like that if it were to be on Steam. All right, Tana asks, uh, what's going to happen with the other AE games? Are they going to be heading to Steam? Is there going to be a hub to download them or anything like that? 
uh, when fa uh, Flash gets phased out in 2020. Uh, RDX replies with, we're going to be making announcements about our non-Flash versions of our games around spring break. Uh, Tom asks, uh, I got a question about the current progress on Adventure Quest Worlds mobile right now. Uh, we're going to make an official announcement about that and other things around spring break. We're working on things. Now, uh, Elena put, put up a post with a, a Google forum uh, asking a hero survey. So uh, to ask questions uh, for the players of the game to see what people think and stuff like that. Uh, we will fill up this on this video because I thought it would be interesting. I started to fill it out, but only answered the first two questions. Uh, so... On here, it says we will make an announcement about our next non-Flash version of Visual Quest Worlds around spring break, so keep an eye on the side notes. So it, this announcement is going to include uh, Adventure Quest Worlds and the other AE Flash games, and it's going to happen around spring break. My guess is what I want to happen for this is we get a, a play test for Adventure Quest Worlds uh, 60 FPS, the client version of AQ Worlds. I hope we get a play test or something like that. Just to, I want to try. I want to see how it runs. I, at least that, that's for me. Even if it's not the full game, if it's like one map with one character and nothing else, like just to walk around in that would be really cool. All right, I have one really cool piece of news after this, uh, but I just want to go through the survey really quick because it does kind of hint towards the future of Adventure Quest World, so I think it's relevant for a news video. Uh, I won't. Uh, spend any time on things I don't need to spend time on. I'll skip questions that don't need to be really uh, gone on about. No faction for me. Uh, so my account was created in 2013. I'm level 81 or 82 right now. Uh, with server do I usually play? I play on a server in Yermi. Yeah, sometimes a testing server, you know. You get more XP on the testing server. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do in-game? Battle and farm. Uh, hang out, talk to friends. I don't really do that. I used to do that a lot, but like I'd rather just talk to people on Twitter or something, if I'm being honest. Uh, battle or complete the story? Kawai FK, trolling grief. <laughs> Yo, hit all F4 for free ACs. Uh, other. I might fill out other. I might do that after the, I record this. Uh, what classes are you normally using? Uh, so, when you log in, how long do you play? Game phase. An hour or more. Uh, do you get a Vision Quest Worlds email newsletter, which I write each week? Yes. I used to, but I stopped getting it. Oh, that, that's a problem. There's a newsletter? <laughs> a shameless plug to the newsletter. And the, uh, Yeah, okay. Uh, if you get to the newsletter, do you actually read it? Yes. Sometimes there's news in the newsletter that you don't get anywhere else. I don't think I actually checked the newsletter today. Let me check it. Alright, either they didn't send it out yet, or I didn't get it, so it's not there. All right, so the ultimate item of Donated Awesomeness was a special hard-to-get item that lets its owner choose a rare item from a list of options. If we brought that back, would you need to have it? Oh my god, not care one way or the other, or Valve Vengeance, so the developers, so that, that's, that's dark, okay. <laughs> you, know, you could go with something a little less than that. Um... Yeah, I need to have it, of course. So the ultimate item, I, I'm i okay, so I don't, I'm not 100% on this, so you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but it was from the Wheel of Doom. It was either really rare, it was really rare, I, I'm pretty sure, from the Wheel of Doom. You spin the wheel, uh, the wheel would have a chance of giving you a certain item. Uh, most of the items were, I think they had a bunch of unique items. You could also get like older items and AC tagged items of versions that were already in the game, stuff like that was in the Wheel of Doom. Uh, and there was a chance that you got... Uh, the donated awesomeness, the item of donated awesomeness, and if you got that, you had you could email, um, you had to send an email and then ask for an item off this list, a rare item, and they would give you that item on your account, which is really cool. If they brought that back, uh, they'd be bringing back a lot of rare items for people to get. Uh, if they got this somehow, which I don't know, does this mean they're going to bring back the Wheel of Doom also? Because if that, that, yeah, I love the Wheel of Doom. So if they bring back the Wheel of Doom. Hell yeah, if they're just bringing this back by itself, hell yeah, dude. Uh, definitely want that back. I don't see why not. I don't get why people people care a lot, way too much about rare items. Like, okay, if you have a rare item, that's cool. It's a rare item, that's cool you have it. Why? Uh, I don't get why other people can't have it. I guess the exclusivity of it is what people like, but at the same time, like, items are items, so it doesn't really matter. Like, other. What would an other be for this? My toaster? I don't know. 
Uh, if you play games on a console, uh, which do you use the most? Xbox One X, 360, PS4, and PlayStation 2. Damn, okay. Yo, GameCube, where's the GameCube at? Nintendo 64? Yo, I'm putting best console ever made. N64, baby. Uh, if we had a downloadable version of Adventure Quest Worlds, which would you like better? Steam, direct download, I can install programs, okay. So that's the same one as uh, they did a Twitter poll on. What's more important to you? Engaging story, playing and sharing adventures with your friends, looking cool, new weekly updates, or awesome features like trading awesome features. At this point, I like the weekly updates, but if these updates came with new features, that would be insane. I think I would like that a lot more than just a new story every week. If, if they didn't do a story for one week in Adventure Quest Worlds, and like, hey, here's a new pvp map with new pvp rewards or here's a new or like here's a new like leaderboard system for pvp or here's a new bank system where you can see the items that are in your bank now if they did that for one week instead of focusing on a story release i'd prefer that if they did that every once in a while like once every like month they would do a an actual game update that updates the functionality of the game and then skip the story for that week that'd be really cool uh, what features would you like to see us add in the next version of Vicious Worlds? Trading. Hell yeah. PvP. Hell yeah. Leaderboards. Yes. Player interaction. Leave messages. Marriage. Marriage. Uh, okay, so they had this on the AQ3D one too. Now, I'm not against it, but I, I think, I, I just think it's kind of funny, honestly. Uh, it's I guess if you're RPing or whatever, that's that's the functionality for it. It'd be cool if it had like a bonus, like... Like, let's say you're playing with your friend and you're like, oh, we get a 10% bonus XP boost or something if we're married. Let's get married, like, Kappa Pride. Uh, that'd be kind of cool, something like that. Uh, guild functionality, guild halls. I want more guild functionality, yes. I want I want all of this because uh, the guilds are very limited. It costs a lot of money to have a, like, even decently sized guild. Like, I think 50 people is the max amount of people you get in a guild, which is ridiculous for an MMO. 50 people guild, what? Uh... Guild halls are a cool idea, but I don't think that would really work too well in AQW. Um, but it's still cool to have if, if it was done right. Uh, what's your favorite event or release type? Story wars, wars, <laughs> boss battles. I like boss battles. Can I pick multiple? Ah, uh, cross the game hunts. I, I despise across the game hunts. I hate going to like the Krulong event where you have to go to like every single map in the game and play through like a whole release again. I hate that. Uh, holiday, uh, holiday events are definitely my favorite. I, I would pick boss battles and holiday if I could pick two, because they're about equal. But holiday events are by far my favorite. I just I love stuff like Frostfell, Mogwumin, stuff like that. Um, Hero Heart Day is coming up soon. Uh, do you complete one of did, did you complete one of our tutorials? Yes, of course. Yes, on one character on all my characters. I'm pr well, yeah, all my characters have done the tutorial. Don't you have to do a tutorial? Or you can skip it, right? I don't know. I've, I've always done it. They changed it, though. Like, few, a few times they've changed the tutorial. I've done the original one more times than the uh, newer one. I think when they released the new tutorial, I redid it on, like, a level 80 character, a level 65 character. Um, when you first landed in the town of Battle, after finding yourself in the crowd, what did you do? Talk to Twilly. Talk to Claire Joy. Talk to... Okay. What? Uh, I don't think I talked to anyone. I'm pretty sure. I think I walked. I think I started doing the Sword Haven release as soon as I started. So Clerk Joy would be the first person I talked to. Uh, Clerk Joy. Cleric Joy. Um, when you land in battle on a normal visit, what do you do first? Go to the latest release. Uh, yeah, if I haven't finished it yet. Uh, join the latest release directly slash join. Uh, go to a friend or guild member. Stand around looking. I go to my house. Yeah. Go to your house. That's what, that's what I do. I click the house button. Um, I would go to Yolgar if there was a Yolgar button. Like, if they put a Yolgar button down here, I'd go to Yolgar and hang out there. But my house is uh, the next best thing, of course. All right. So I will finish this up and submit that. I've been doing this for 14 minutes. There's one last thing I'd like to show you. Uh, this was sent in by Holy Crusader, the Cheese Unicorn on Twitter. Uh, it's from Discord, uh, from Alina. With a lot of very generous heroes, which was amazing to see, there are a couple of ways we could bring it back. One I have already discussed with the team, so we shall see. If we did bring it back, 
We may open donations up again, but I, like I said, I do not think it would be necessary. Though that does mirror the question you guys could give input on. How would you feel about transferring items from accounts marked for deletion uh, so that those items could be used for this rather than wasted? Now, I'm pretty sure. And I just sent this, I asked for context for this, but he didn't reply with any context. So I'm pretty sure this is uh, for the uh, awesome item, like where you can get a rare item if you get the item, uh, and using items that were going to be deleted off of people's accounts. Uh, so what this means, basically, how do you feel about transferring items from accounts marked for deletion? Uh, what this means is basically every item that was ever rare in the game is a possibility. Uh, to for you to get that's what this would mean is that a good thing i think so in my opinion although i don't think other people are gonna have that same opinion uh i'd rather it go back to the old uh the old item list that they had for the first time they had the wheel of doom in the game uh but this is uh something interesting to think about so that is all for the news video uh i'm gonna try to cut it down uh the survey part uh skip the boring questions hopefully but uh yeah Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.